welcome along. Uh, today we are taking a look at uh, the Modern Classics DLC by uh, Matt XJS. Uh, this is the first uh, DLC officially released by Giants by uh, a member of the community. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, this is utterly fantastic. Um, no bones about it. I've been looking forward to this DLC for a while. And uh, and having just played around with it a little bit setting this up, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, and just the detail. I mean, we have a quick look around before we get into the depths of this. The detail on these models and the textures and... The whole thing just is utterly gorgeous to look at. I mean, you can you can get right in, and there's not a spot of pixelation. There's not a. It's just this is this is some of the most incredible work I've ever seen on anything in Farming Simulator. Um, there is a link in the description to download this mod and. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I would say, go buy it. Uh, before I go any further into this into this spotlight, absolutely, go buy it. It is fantastic. It is well worth it. It's uh, the number one comment I have seen today about this uh, DLC is they are surprised at the price. Everybody's surprised at the price of it and has gone, you know, uh, this this is worth more. And in my opinion, absolutely, I cannot... And, and look getting right in there not a spot um absolutely gorgeous uh dlc uh we shall go through uh, the various pieces of equipment quickly so in this dlc you've got the fast track 150 turbo uh the jcb the 390t massey ferguson the um i'm trying to remember what the model of this is oh there we go the uh five Two five six seven Lodal Farm Special JCB Telehandler, the Case five uh, five one five O Maxim Tractor, the absolutely gorgeous uh, New Holland TX thirty four Combine, along with its fourteen foot header and header trailer, uh, the Lizard uh, Dolly Trailer, uh, which is and that is I love that that is a beautiful piece of that that's one of the highlights of this the amazon 830 special cedar uh we have a lemkin what is this this is the uh this is the uh, lemkin cultivator i'm not sure the exact model of it uh smaragud by the looks of it um uh yeah cultivator and then finally we have this really beautiful curvelin plow um i am yeah I am just utterly in love with this DLC. It is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so let's have a look in the shop quickly before we go and take uh, each of these for a quick test. We have a few vehicles and we have a, a few beast kits. So we'll we'll go and have a test with a, f uh, a few bits. But first, uh, let's have a look in the shop, uh, which is that key. So, uh, these are our three tractors that come in uh, the DLC. As I said, the 390T Massey Ferguson, the Maximum 5150 case, and the Fast Track 150. Uh, the three, uh, the 390T Massey, actually, we'll go back to screen. The 390T Massey, uh, cost 45,250, costs 250 pounds a day to maintain, produces 95 horsepower, takes 108 litres of fuel, and goes at 24 miles an hour. Has a couple of uh, options and upgrades. Uh, so you front loader, which will add £800 onto the cost. And then wheel setup, you've got standard, wide tyres, narrow tyres. So three uh, options. If we take the most expensive, uh, adds approximately 1400 onto it. So uh, yeah, maximum price for this is 46650 and then we've got the case uh, Maxim 5150, uh, which costs 55,840. Uh, 300 pound a day uh, maintenance cost, 132 horsepower, uh, 170 litres of fuel, and 24 miles per hour maximum speed. Uh, lots of options on this. Uh, you've got uh, various front attachers. So you've got weight, front hydraulic, uh, in fact, freight or front hydraulic on it. 
Uh, front loader attacher is also available on it. Engine setup. Now, the engine setup isn't actually something that changes the engine on this. It changes the design of the tractor. So you've got the standard maximum 5150. Uh, the tractor in the same setup, but in black and silver. The 50,000 edition black, uh, which puts a nice 50,000 uh, logo on the side. Uh, the 50,000 edition red, which is basically the red tractor with that 50,000 edition logo. Uh, the maximum 150 Pro, again, adds a, a, another design to the side of the tractor. And then the same thing again in black. Uh, and then the Pro VAR 2, which moves that logo a little bit. Uh, and then again in black. So there's there's lots of different options uh, for how the tractor looks, uh, which are all pretty cool. Um, then wheel setup, you've got standard, wide and narrow and rear twin and then all over twin. So yeah, nice set of wheel options. And then finally, uh, you've got the dark grey or the light grey rim colour. Uh, so yeah, a really nice set of options on this tractor. Taking the most expensive options that we can pick. There we go. Wow, that really, for, for a paint job, that's really quite an expense. They don't change the horsepower at all, the, uh, the paint jobs. Uh, I think the twin wheels are the most expensive. Yes, they are. Uh, and then changing the rim colour. Uh, it adds nothing to it. So it takes it from 55,840 up to 23,000. Uh, oh, sorry. Adds 23,800. Takes up to 79,640 as a maximum price. I'm liking the price of these tractors. Uh, and then finally in the tractors, we have the uh, JCB Fast Track 150. Uh, £300 a day for maintenance 159 horsepower uh 280 liters of fuel and 40 miles an hour top speed uh engine setup uh yep yeah, you have the 40 uh fast track 40 kph fast track 55 kph 65 kph and 75 kph uh they all up in fact uh the 140 has 159 horsepower the rest all take it to 168 horsepower. Uh, then for wheel setup, you've got standard wide tyres, uh, rear twins and twin wheels. Oh, and narrow tyres. So, uh, yeah, uh, which is sort of tacked on the end a little bit there. They're a little bit of an odd place in the setup. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so twin wheels is the most expensive. So you can add 14700 on to the base price of 65230 to uh, to produce a maximum price of 79930 So, uh, yeah, all of these, no more than 80000 80, for any of those, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, moving on to the harvesters, where we have our TX34, uh, which costs 85,640, uh, £700 a day maintenance, 180 horsepower is it is produced by it, uh, 350 litres of fuel, maximum speed of 14 miles an hour, a fairly small grain tank on this, but then I would expect that of a uh, combine uh, of this age and this size, of uh, 5,700 litres, uh, it is takes the TX3414 foot header, which we will see in a moment, uh, and you can harvest wheat, barley, canola, uh, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn with this. Uh, oh, and uh, if I just go into it quickly, no uh, options on it at all, so that is all good. Uh, headers, uh, we have the TX3444. 14 foot header, uh, 9,570 pound on that, uh, 40 pound a day, uh, 4.3 meter cutting width, uh, maximum of six miles an hour while it's cutting, uh, goes with the TX34, uh, as we have just discussed, uh, and, uh, this allows you to harvest, uh, wheat, barley, canola, and soybean. Uh, moving swiftly on, the next thing we have is, uh, the tippers. Uh, which is the Lizard TA-18, uh, 21,500, uh, £10 a day maintenance, 30,000 litres. Wow, that is quite a big trailer. Um, and it takes pretty much everything. Um, yeah, that's that. There is next to nothing that trailer doesn't take. Uh, I think that's a very useful trailer. Uh, and if I select it, uh, it does have options. We have colour options. So, um... 
The main colour is the under chassis colour there, and the design colour is the sides of it. I like the colour variation that you can have on this. Uh, very much. That is... That actually, to me, that is one of the highlights of this pack. I really like that trailer. It's, it's quite... It's pretty awesome for a trailer. And I'm not a huge fan of Dolly trailers. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then we have the Kerbland EG85 Plough for 8,450. Uh, £10 pound a day. 120 horsepower required to pull it. Uh, has a 2 meter width and goes uh, works at 9 miles per hour. Again, no upgrade options available on that at all. Uh, Cultivator, we got the Lemkin 80... Uh, to 60 uh, for 4350 uh, again 10 pound a day 90 horsepower requirement on it um 2.6 meter width which is quite thin actually for a cultivator in game i think that may even be the thinnest cultivator yes there's nothing else below three meters so that is the thinnest cultivator in game i don't think there's anything in any of the mod packs that's thinner than that so uh yeah that's that's interesting this is proper small farm equipment um so that's pretty cool uh and uh, again no upgrade options sewing machines uh, you've got the amazon d830 special for 6940 uh 20 pound a day maintenance uh 78 horsepower requirement holds 50 liters of seed uh, uh works at three meters has uh nine mile per hour Working speed, uh, only takes seeds, and with this you can sow wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, oilseed, radish, and grass. And then, I think, the only thing we have left... Let's just check. Nothing in the sprayers, or in there, or in there, or in there, or in there. No, the next thing we have... When I find it... There we are in the telehandlers. It is the JCB 52567 uh, load all. Uh, it will cost you 64 pounds, uh, 64,780 uh, pounds. Sorry. Uh, costs 180 pounds a day to maintain. Uh, go uh, Produces 141 horsepower. Takes 126 litres of fuel. Goes at 12 miles per hour uh, as a maximum speed. And yeah, does n again, does not have any options. I think that is it. Because uh, we have covered the plough, the cultivator, the cedar, the trailer, um, the helm. We haven't done the header trailer, so we'll just have a look at that. Otherwise, yes, we have covered everything else. So if we just go and find our header trailer. Here we go. The 14-foot header trailer will cost you £3,500, £5 a day maintenance, uh, and is designed for the TX34 14-foot header. So, yeah, that is a brief overview of everything uh so we are going to now go and take uh, some of these pieces of equipment and give them a try we're going to start with the fast track here i mean we have, have had a good look over it uh it is beautifully modeled and as uh, we briefly looked at this but it is utterly gorgeously modeled there is not an edge there's not a, a yeah and uh, if we jump in the cab uh, it's the same. That is just utterly fantastic. Really, really beautiful. Really detailed. I've seen videos of this today. And those just have not done this justice. It is utterly gorgeous, this tractor. So, let's move along. And, uh, and we're going to take the plough with this. So I believe this has a standard in-game sound. And we're going to take the Kerbal and Plough and give that a try out with this. Because uh, I think it will work well with this. And that just sounds lovely. Let's give the suspension on this a quick test. I like to do that from time to time. Again, standard stuff for FS... Uh, yeah, look at that. That is just... Oh, I love this, how the springs move as well. It is... This is utterly, utterly fantastic. Uh, we will turn our plough. 
Lovely smooth motion. Right, we need to purchase this field, I think. Yeah. So we will put on the uh, the money cheat just so we can do that. Buy this field and we'll give it a go. And down. And look at that. Oh, wow. Lovely animation on that. And yeah, this is handling this plough with no problems whatsoever. If we up the uh, dirt on it as well. Oh, I don't think I've got that set up, actually. That's a pity. Although, actually, no, you can see the dirt. Yeah. Left control D. There we go. Wow. Loving the dirt look on that. That's utterly beautiful. And yeah, look at that. So that is what it looks like dirty. Um, I love where the dirt is. I love that it doesn't really go higher than the cab. That's massively realistic on this. And, and really gorgeous. That is superb. Wow. Okay. Uh, in the interest of time. Way. Oh, let's. Well, it, it flies well as well. So we're gonna we're gonna hook this up to the trailer in a minute, uh, but now I want to grab. I think our cedar is the thing that takes the least power. So let's have a look on the inside of this case. Again, love how I love the um, I love the dashboard. The dashboard looks awesome as well, and really quite beautiful. The detail on the insides of these is amazing is utterly fantastic it just screams detail and just screams a, a, a love of doing this I know uh, Matt's uh, Matt's T dubs are my favorite mods in the, in the game and uh, yeah my, my favorite vehicle mods in the game and this is just this is a cut above. It really is. Look at that. And again. The animation on that and everything just looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's dirty it up. There we go. Bit of dirt on the roof on this. Uh, but yeah. I love it again. I love the positioning of the dirt. I love where everything is on it. It looks just as beautiful dirty as it does clean. And, uh, oh wow. My only complaint about this, and it is a, it's a really silly complaint because I know it's impossible. I'd love to have seen this in white. I would love to have had a David Brown version of this tractor. Uh, but uh, as it is, this is pretty close to getting that. And I, uh, yeah, I love this. This is just... And there is not a bad bit in this DLC. There really isn't. And look at that. Again. Just moves beautifully. Alright, we'll go park this over the other side. Right, and then we will hook up our little Massey here. To the cedar. I'm going to try that out. Now that had that had standard in-game sounds. The JCB, I have a feeling. Um, I know Matt had went out and got a microphone and recorded lots of sounds. I uh, sounds. I know this Massey. This Massey uh, is is custom sounds to this DLC, and it does sound absolutely beautiful. And inside again massive attention to detail in here really really beautiful high quality textures just the one of the, the one of the best or one of the best if not the best looking set of mods in game uh, let's fill this up with some uh, some seed again uh, uh, we should have some nice animation on this yeah there we go and again, it just looks absolutely amazing. 
This Massey is beautiful. I, the Massey is the, the bit, actually, in this DLC that I was the least infused about. But, oh my god, in person, it is just... It is just really special. Absolutely incredible. The level of detail on this is... Yeah. As I said at the beginning of the video, I, I love this DLC. Go buy this DLC. It is utterly fantastic. And we haven't even got to the Combine yet. Right, let's... There we go. So we're seeding with wheat. I uh, was seeding wheat. Again, looking absolutely amazing. Dirty it up. And let's have a look at the dirt on this. There we go. Look at that. Again, really awesome looking. As beautiful dirty as they are clean. And wow. Yeah. That is, that is just amazing. Really gorgeous. Right, and now we will move on to what has to be the crowning achievement of this DLC. The one item that when I, when I first heard what he was uh, going to include in this uh, just made me go. I have to have this and I have to have it as soon as I can. Um... Well, actually, no, no, we do uh, We do have one other one to look into before, actually, before we go look at that. Um, that's this. That's our JCB. We'll just give this a drive around again. Uh, let's dirty it up. Have a look. We don't really have any things that we can work with on this. But, yeah, again. Wait, we had those. Yeah, there we go. Looking, again, looking utterly fantastic dirty. Real attention, real beauty. Um, has, um, yeah, so has four-wheel steer. I believe it also has, yeah, different types of steering. So, there we go. Front-wheel steer. And... Also... Uh, crab steer left, crab steer right. And back to all wheel steering. That is, wow, superb. Really awesome. And again, in the cab, uh, massive attention to detail. Interestingly, I don't know if this is the case for all of them. Hadn't noticed that. No interior dirt when this is fully dirty. And I'm wondering if that's the case. Yeah, that is the case for all of them. Very interesting that. Normally, when you have a when a tractor gets dirty in farm sim, the interior gets dirty. Not happening on these. I don't know if that's just with what I the way I'm making them dirty. But yeah, no interior dirt. That is that is the only issue I have found with this DLC. Interestingly enough. Right, let's go and have a look at this. This is beautiful. Now, this is something. This is a piece of equipment I have driven in real life. Uh, I have... My dad had one of these. Uh, and, oh wow, it is like being back there. The detail in this cab. Um, so those... Uh, I saw somebody earlier today wondering what all those levers are. Those are the levers to control the various functions of the combine. Uh, the closest one to me is the unload. But yeah, so you push all those levers down to turn on the thresher and to turn on the various bits of the combine. Uh, the detail in here is gorgeous. It really is. So let's unfold the combine. Turn her on. And away we go. And wow. 
What a beautiful piece of kit. Let's see if we have the same issue. There we go. Fully dirtied up on the outside. Do we have an issue on the inside? We do. Ah, oh, only issue I have with this DLC is that we don't have any interior dirt. I, I will have to test this further because it could be uh, the way I'm making it dirty. Yeah, it's it's dirtying the outside, not dirtying inside the cabs. So, interesting that one. But again, looks gorgeous. Looks really, really beautiful like this. Nice and dirty. Let's turn the swath on and test that. Uh, there we go. Disable straw swath is that one. And, uh, and down we go. Let's have a look at the uh, chopper at work. Again. Look at that's just yeah that is just working wonderfully. How much detail is there under there? No moving parts under there as far as I can see. But it is yeah. Oh, I do like this. I do like this an awful lot. I'm gonna be looking forward to using this combine because it is just. I'm I'm looking forward to using all of this. All of this is utterly fantastic. Right, there we go. So, uh, let's see if we can empty into our trailer. So, we shall just pull this here and put that out. We'll go and get our fast track for this job. then we will finish up but yeah wow uh, in general looks gorgeous looks utterly amazing um, as I said just that one floor in the in this whole thing otherwise looks really beautiful uh, I want to dirty this trailer up as well so let's do that again trailer looks fantastic Unloading animation looks fantastic. Yeah. This is this is an utterly beautiful DLC. Uh, and and yeah, despite that minor issue that uh, that I've come across, I think it's uh, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's utterly utterly amazing. This. Kudos to Matt. absolutely kudos to me. right so that is where we're going to end it because uh, that is a brief overview of the modern classics DLC for farming simulator 17 uh, I highly highly recommend it I will put a link in the description um, and uh, yeah, no, I'll put a link in the description because unfortunately YouTube won't let me put one on screen. And uh, yeah, please go check it out. Please go buy it. It is only uh, four, uh, four euros ninety nine or four dollars ninety nine. Uh, well worth every penny of that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, all that remains at this point is for me to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this spotlight. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.